43 quintillion, 252 quadrillion, 3 trillion, 274 billion, 489 million, 856,000. This is the amount of solvable states a 3x3 Rubik's Cube can be in. If I had this amount of subscribers, I could solve world hunger forever. So to help me reach 43 quintillion subscribers, consider liking and subscribing. Thank you so much. A 3x3 Rubik's Cube has three types of pieces. We have the centers, which are fixed and can't move around. Edges, which can be put in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 locations. And every edge has two orientations. And finally, we have the corners, which can go into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 locations. And you can twist every corner in three different orientations. Before we do the math, let's first see what happens when we put a piece in. Let's start with an edge. So right now there are 12 options where we can put the edge. But once we put it in, for the next edge, there are only 11 edges. For the third edge, there will only be 10 options. And if we continue this process, we will end up with one option for the last edge. Which means that there are 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 ways to put in the edges of a 3 by 3 and we can rewrite this as 12 factorial. Also, if we consider the two orientations of each edge, we have to multiply the 12 factorial by the amount of orientations. So each edge has two orientations, one and two. And there are 12 edges, so we have two times 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 two or two to the power 12 orientations. Now let's repeat the process with the corners. Right now there are eight spots and when we put one corner in, there will be seven spots. And when we put the next corner in, there will only be six options left. For the next corner, five options, and so on. So we will have eight factorial ways to put in the corners. And each corner has three orientations. So three times 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 three ways to orient the corners. And we can write this as three to the power eight. If we multiply all the numbers, we will get 519 quintillion, 24 quadrillion, 39 trillion, 293 billion, 878 million, 272 thousand, which is the amount of ways a 3x3 can be put together. So how do we get 43 quintillion? Well, remember, 43 quintillion is the amount of solvable states. So we have to look into our calculations. A single twisted corner is unsolvable. So instead of taking 3 to the power of 8, the last power doesn't count. So we can only have 3 to the power 7 orientations for all the corners. And the same goes for the edges. This is unsolvable. So it's 2 to the power 11 instead of 2 to the power 12 combinations for edge orientations. And finally we will look into parity. So cases like this where we have two edges that need to be swapped are impossible. So we have to divide our number by 2. So now if we redo our calculations, we will see that the answer is indeed 43 quintillion, 252 quadrillion, 3 trillion, 274 billion, 489 million, 856 thousand combinations. This number is absolutely insane and very hard to visualize. Three puzzles or five cube cases are easy to visualize, but 43 quintillion is so astronomically large, it is very hard for our minds to process it. So here are some cool ways that we can visualize this insane number. Imagine if we trained the entire world to be sub-5 solvers, and we were to work together to solve all the possible 43 quintillion states of a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. We will need around a thousand years to solve all the possible states, and that is considering the entire population will be cubing non-stop, so no eating and no sleeping. And this is without inspection. If we include 15 seconds of inspection, we will need more than 3000 years. And don't forget that we will need 43 quintillion Rubik's Cubes to do this. And if we put all 43 quintillion Rubik's cubes in one straight line, the length would be able to circle the circumference of the Earth 60 billion times. This is how insane 43 quintillion is. And despite this, there are millions of people that have mastered this twisty puzzle. I feel like the entire cubing community deserves the biggest round of applause. So next time you solve a 3 by 3 think about how insane that is. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe, as that would mean the world to me. If you have any other cool visualizations, let me know in the comments. Share this video with your friends, and I will catch you in the next one.